Pascal Stoke and welcome back to this week's vlog of Stoke. 7 o'clock Friday night and uh, we are back in Eindhoven, back to the grind. Day in, day out, swimming, swimming, swimming. And as you can see, the weather here is horrible. I'm not enjoying this. Look at this, it's been snowing Tuesday and it's been uh, snowing for about the past like four hours. And yeah, so it's gonna be a very eventful week, but luckily we are swimmers, so the weather doesn't scare us. So that's traveling here. Got a nice warm, humid swimming pool to dive into. Nice warm water. Thought it was only warm. But yeah, back to the grind. So let's go. What do you hear, Mark? Swimmers, always blij. Water is always good. in the vlog. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> it kind of been it. Now, snow day has begun. And it is be -a -a beautiful. Good to be back in the pool. And we're just gonna have a fun week of training. Make some meters and hopefully not die. Try and survive this week and then uh, a weekend off and next weekend that's a fun one we're going through to Oman for a three-week training camp to the sun so I can't wait for that get away from the snow I'm not a snow person don't like snow it's too cold it's too wet and it's like maybe a swimmer's thing like we get enough water so we don't need water outside as well and definitely not if it's frozen so yeah let's go train So I've got a few minutes to kill here in the pool before our training starts. And uh, from a previous vlog, uh, a question that a lot of people ask me is like, how long do you uh, not swim with a new tattoo? So that's a new tattoo. Stitch is still going strong. And if I'm getting a new tattoo, so I've got about three now, then I always take uh, two weeks minimum to not swim. This one was pretty short. But within two weeks, it should be fully healed and that you can just jump to the water and enjoy. So no baths, no swimming for two weeks. Yeah, I 
So this week we've got uh, nine swim trainings, uh, two gyms, two gym combis with swim, so that's two of the sessions, and a lot of dry land. So full week and hopefully we'll make it through. Let you guys know uh, next week if I'm still alive. So hope for the best. Hello allemaal, welkom. Hello party people. Welkom bij deze nieuwe aflevering van Pijnenburg. Bij Stol, daar is hij. Even zwijken! Ik neem het even over samen met Marjolein en Dion. Even zwaaien. Zwaai even, Marjolein. Nu staat hij wel aan. Ik heb ook nog. 30. Op 30? We liggen hier in de kinderbaan samen met Mout en Kel. En we gaan even lekker wat zwemmen. Hè? Even een scoopje erbij. Lekker. Oh jongens. Wat doe je niet te zoomen zijn? Tijd te over. Zo lang hier, jongen. Nee, je moet er een eentje. Ah. Ik ben er niet zwaar. Welkom, Kars, die pie opperen. Wee! Heel instructeur worden. Hé, ja. Kom maar dan! Nog maar! Vijf! Ah. Unfortunately, like most swimmers, I've uh, come to waste to another cap. And that is why I don't do basketball. So welcome back to the car after the training. Good training. And it is still outside a wasteland of snow. Hasn't got it any better. Probably a lot worse. I've nearly died about 14 times just trying to walk to the car. Nearly slipped and died. I really think this could have been my last day on earth. So uh, I can't wait for it to be summer. Can't wait. Should be fun. Counting down the days already. Pretty much snowed in. Hi. What property is that? Hear that? So guys, I've safely made my way home. It was uh, a hell, but uh, we made it. And to get home, it's a lovely home cooked meal by the one and only Carmen. Woo! Woo! So I looked outside and. Massive, badass. Shards coming from the roof. Don't remember what they call them. Ah, uh, I'm gonna kill somebody with this. Carmen. Don't tell me. 
So guys, the week has uh, flown past. I've pretty much been uh, swimming and hibernating from the cold. Sleeping all day, sleeping all night. It's still freezing. Like, I'm not a fan of this. I've actually, I've never been on a winter holiday. So I've always, with even like when I was young, in South Africa, never saw snow before. The first time I saw snow was when we moved to Ireland and then it like started snowing on Christmas day. So that was very magical. But that was the first time that I actually saw snow. And now I'm tired of it, <laughs> fit up. Don't want this anymore, I want sun, sunshine and warm. And luckily I'm a swimmer. So every time I go to the pool, I've got that nice, humid, warm area to go back to. Like looking outside here, it's just one big ice rink. This is very dangerous, the car. I've even fallen once. Look, look at this, look at this. Massive bruise because I fell with the, with the moped, with the scooter. So it's not safe, don't like this. I wanna go back inside. Gonna go book a nice summer holiday. Go to the sun, go to Greece, somewhere nice and warm. So I am very intrigued. What do you guys prefer? Like, do you prefer a winter holiday or a summer holiday? Comment it down here, but most importantly, give the vlog a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you again next week Friday, 7 o'clock, latest talking here.